Hi, I'm Dave Carger. Thanks for joining me here on TCM for the first day of our month-long celebration of the 100th anniversary of Warner Brothers. Up next is another film the studio produced in its first decade and during that exciting, salacious period now known as the Pre-Code Era, the period of a few short years in the early 30s before Hollywood censors began cracking down on movie content. Our next film is a caper comedy from 1932, Jewel Robbery, starring William Powell and Kay Francis. Powell plays dashing jewel thief in Vienna. While carrying out a heist, he meets Kay Francis, a wealthy baroness who's bored, restless, and married to a stuffy older man. And she very willingly becomes Powell's next victim. Kay Francis was one of the biggest stars at Warner Brothers in the early 1930s. After a brief career on Broadway in the mid-20s, she was persuaded by the actor Walter Houston to try her hand at motion pictures. She started out under contract at Paramount in 1929, but soon left for a brighter future at Warner Brothers, and it was there that Frances came into her own as a star. In the early 1930s, she embodied fashion, glamour, and sophistication, as you'll see in this film. Jewel Robbery was made at a time when movies about the rich and privileged were especially popular. America was in the midst of the Great Depression, and these films offered the kind of escapism that audiences wanted. And since it was also made during the pre-code era, you'll see a few things that wouldn't appear on screen later in the decade, including a scene where William Powell gives another character a funny cigarette. From 1932, also with Helen Vincent and Alan Mowbray, here is Jewel Robbery. When we think of William Powell today, we tend to associate him with his most frequent leading lady, Myrna Loy. Together, Powell and Loy made 14 films in the 1930s and 40s, including the wildly popular Thin Man series. But before their successful partnership began in 1934 at MGM, Powell had another popular leading lady, Kay Francis. Together, they starred in a total of six movies, beginning with four at Paramount, followed by two superior productions, Jewel Robbery and One Way Passage at Warner Brothers. Powell and Francis complemented each other beautifully, they were both stars who embodied class, style, wit, and sophistication. But their partnership ended in 1932, the same year Jewel Robbery was released, because Powell relocated to MGM. Kay Francis, on the other hand, stayed at Warner Brothers, where she reigned as queen of the Warner's lot, until Betty Davis came around and usurped the crown. Up next, we have more from Warner Brothers during the pre-code era, a newsroom comedy from 1932 starring Lee Tracy. <laughs> 